Hey everybody, it's Comphelp. Thank you for watching this video. This video is actually part three to my 3D Studio Max series for beginners. All right, so we have all of our shapes again, and all I'm gonna do here, we don't really need those. I'm gonna just gonna go to the screen button, reset. No, I don't need to save my changes, and click yes. I really do wanna reset. All right, so now we have shapes down. Hopefully you've been practicing with uh, making the shapes, uh, adjusting the parameters, seeing what you can get out of them. Now, today, we're actually gonna learn how to transform your objects, um, and how to move them and such. Now, let me make a box here. Okay, it doesn't matter how big it is. And you can see I'm moving my viewport, right? Let's go ahead and Alt, Alt, oops, Alt W here. And Alt W will actually, will actually make the viewport that you are, are that is active, if I Alt W on that one, Alt W, Alt W. That's a really good shortcut there. Um, whatever, whichever viewport is active, it'll make it full screen. So Alt W there. Now, if I go ahead and move around, you can see, see the grid. I'm not moving the object. I'm moving my, my, I, I'm moving to a different angle. I'm standing to the side of it and I'm just walking around it. I'm not actually moving this, uh, this geometric shape. Okay. Um, so let's start moving these shapes. Yeah. All right. The first thing you want to do is actually come up here to this move, this select and move tool, okay? And actually, what I can do is, let's say uh, your sticks, are, they look like this and you can't click anything. Um, press X, okay? X will make your sticks appear. Now, you can move in the X direction, Y direction, and Z direction. Let's hold the X direction. Now, look at that. The grid stays put. That means that you're now moving the object. You can actually animate this moving right here. Now, we're not going to get into that right now, but... You can see that you're now actually moving the shape. Let's move it in the Z, okay, the Z direction, or the Y axis, axis. Okay, there you go. It's very, uh, yeah. Now you're moving the shape. Okay. Um, I don't know. You know what? I don't, I don't like these lines here. They just kind of get in the way for now. I'm gonna press J and get rid of those lines. I don't really like them there. Okay. So anyway, let's go and hold Alt W. All right, so we can see when we are moving in our perspective view, I mean, everything looks good. Let me go back, watch. Let's say I'm right here, and I want to line up this square to the bottom of that grid, okay? I want it to be flat on the grid. Uh, I'm thinking about right there, looks great, and I want to center this up. So I don't know, I'm just kind of guesstimating here. I think that's pretty much centered up, okay, from this viewport. I mean, yeah, you can move around, and you can make sure that it's all centered up and everything. But let me give you an example of why the viewports are very important. Let's Alt W again. Or if Alt W is not working, you can click this button down here. Maximize viewport. Okay. You see that works. All right. Right here, we can see the front view. This is actually that, what is it, the bottom grid line? Um, that's that bottom grid line right here, that, that hard edge right there. See that hard, uh, yeah, grid line? If I move in the Y direction, we can see... It's moving up, okay. So we can control the way our object moves in each of the viewports. Top view, we can move that. See, um, we can go to the left view and adjust the height there, x direction here. If I move y here, see right there. If I move y right here, see how it moves differently. I'm looking at the perspective view right now. If I move this in the y, okay. I'm gonna right click to undo that. And if, if I move in the Y in the top view, see how the shape moves differently? You got to make sure you know what you're doing here. So every time you move an object, make sure you're looking at the other viewports as well, because you might be moving in the wrong direction. Okay. All right. So there we go. You have now moved your object. Now the shortcut for the move tool is actually W. So hit W and I um, mean, your stick will come out. So let's Let's go back to our selection tool here, and I can select off our object. Click to select this, and if I hit W, boom, here's my sticks. Okay, great. All right, let's say the sticks are too big for you. What can you do? You can hit the plus and minus buttons right next to your backspace. Here's minus, and here's plus. So it depends how big you like your sticks. That's kind of big right there. I don't really like that big, but I mean, that's the options there, I guess. All right, so I think we have our, mo our move tool down. Remember, you can also, you can select and move from here, or you can press W. Okay, so let's go over to the rotate tool, which is up here. 
or shortcut key E. Press E, W, E, W, E. Very easy. Now we can start rotating our object. Okay? We can rotate our object through this way as well. And we can rotate our object through this stick as well. Okay? Just depends how you want to move. Okay? Practice up doing that. Um, something that you don't want to do, however, is select in the middle of, uh, of the sticks. Because then you're like in free form, and wow, that is just, it's super hard to control uh, rotating anything like that. So just know that. And also, if you, let's go back to our move tool. What you can do is, you can see these like squares, okay? If we hold this square between the Z and Y, you can move like that. That's great. Let's go over to our uh, side view here. You can see we're moving right here. Okay, see how it's moving? If I move in the Y, look how that moves. See how it now affects the front view as well. We can move this direction too. See how it's like moving closer to us. Closer to us. And I can also move right here. Further away. And you know, so you can control two different uh things at the same time. Okay. It actually works better if you're in like a left view or something. And I mean, yeah. So just know that. So anyways. E is for move, W is for move, E is for rotate, okay? And you never really want to rotate in the middle of this uh, sphere there, or gizmo. This thing right here is called the gizmo, E sticks, transformation gizmo. All right, and now we have our scale, which can also be found up here. It's found right there, or you can press R. So W, E, R, there we go. And what you can do with this is, you know, kind of like the move tool, just grab the sticks, and you can uh, scale the square in different ways. Okay, let me go to uh, my other viewports here. You can see the way everything is affected every time I move this. Okay. Now, you can do this with any other shape, uh, any of these things. You know, that's how you move. So, let's go to Sphere. And go to my perspective view here. And just, I'm, I can start moving it. Okay. Move it, you know. E for rotate. You can't really ro see the rotation unless you're looking at the wireframe on the top front left uh, viewports there. And I can also scale this in one direction. See how it gets all flat, kind of like one side. It's not really a sphere anymore. Control Z that. Or I can uniform scale that. You know, there you go. Now we have like a pancake. <laughs> Alright. So, there you go. Um, yeah. I don't know. Adjust the segments on here if you want. If you bring down the segments down to, what, four, so that's your sphere. That's what it looks like. I mean, all right, so this was kind of a long video itself as well. Um, I'm going to go ahead and end it here, and I'll see you in part four.